There was a time when meadow, grove and stream and every common sight did to me seem apparelled in celestial light, the glory and freshness of a dream. It is not now, it hath been of yore. Turn wheresoe'er I may, by night or day, things which I have seen I now can see no more. Today, we found things that we'd never seen before. We explored comb cast and tried to find the way of the cave. But of course, we all know that the way that is the way is not the way. Last year, we visited China. Our objective was to make a laser scan survey of China's four largest chambers. We came to this area to, as the last chamber. It was clear that although the area had been explored in the late 80s by two visiting expeditions from the UK, there was probably an awful lot more to do. We decided just to run a small expedition with uh, eight people and um, see if we could find any new cave. The cast is cone cast, and the name itself uh, conveys that. Uh, but even though there's quite a lot of limestone showing, a lot of the cone cast, of course, is covered in uh, vegetation. So they are like uh, green cones. They go on for miles. I think what's amazing for me is the people of Guizhou that live in this cast area, that they earn a living, they make a living out of it. I've never seen such a harder place to try and farm. It is one of the most spectacular environments uh, that I've seen. In the west we've got four big river sinks and some 10 kilometres or more over to the east there is a massive resurgence spilling out some 15 to 25 cubic metres of water per second. The Bandong system, as was explored, really accounts for probably just two of those sinks and only covers probably half the distance between the sinks and the resurgence. Zinudong entrance, it's a large 40 metre diameter passage that goes for about a kilometre. We've part way along, there's a uh, large climb up a, uh, a near blockage of um, flowstone in the passage. You go right up to the top. And there's a uh, very windy, small archway into a descent down into the continuing passage. And that stops at the edge of an enormous great pit that is uh, 150 metres deep. And that ends in an antechamber to the main Titan chamber itself, which comes down as a window onto the, um, the lower part of Titan chamber. As soon as you get into the main chamber, you don't really know where to look, um, purely and simply because the place is so huge, and even with a decent modern head torch on your head, you just can't see anything. You know, you shine it at the ceiling, at the walls, and there's just nothing around you. You ascend up to um, two enormous great stalagmites which gave the chamber its original name that was a lot shorter than Titan. And then it continues down, calcite flows the other side. It's a really unusual lead because it was only really discovered by a laser scanning and uh, back at home once all that data had been analysed and rendered and fitted together you could see that up in that far top corner there was some passage development that you couldn't really see from the ground. Just kitting up ready for <laughs> the six metre bolt climb on Good Rock and <laughs> up into um, what could be an ongoing passage in the far corner of Titan Chamber. Rowan, these I've never be a late jokes. 
are already wearing a bit thing. Pretty funny. We are sat at the bottom of the 150 meter pitch in Zinu Cave. I found a hair in my uh, spaghetti bolognese. This is upsetting. And we've decided to camp down here tonight because um, it gives us plenty of time to go and push stuff at the end of the chamber up the lasers leap climb that we did. We dropped down a few pitches and uh, met the main river in a massive chamber. It was hard to estimate distance at the moment before we've drawn up the survey, but hundreds of metres long, I think, and uh, probably over 100 across as well. The water emerges from a big sump upstream and it flows over a sort of cascade and then into a massive lake, which I think is about 60 metres wide. But we couldn't push downstream just because we couldn't get across the lake with the time and kit available. Have you enjoyed the trip? Yes, I have enjoyed the trip. It's been nice coming back to somewhere that I'm familiar with. Um, I've seen some incredible sights. Yeah, it's been an absolutely awesome trip. Going into the chamber, knowing that there was only us who'd been there, we were the ones who'd found it. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was really good. Phenomenal trip. Phenomenal. Um, yeah, it was alright, yeah. <laughs>